All right, so we're doing a startup on a furnace coil condenser. We got a Bryant 110,000 BTU, four ton coil. Uh, we have a condenser unit on the roof. We have a oil trap here in our suction line. All right, so right now I'm putting it in cooling mode. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to set my blower speed before I do anything else. Now the first thing I'm going to do is a static pressure test. Um, the blower speed on this unit can be adjusted based on your static pressure. So I have my static chronometer here. Um, I got my probe pulled from the return side. The air flow is this way. So I'm going to point my probe against the airflow. And I'm going to do the same thing up here on the supply. This is the cold air. The air is blowing up this way. I'm going to put my probe towards the air. And this is my total external static pressure. Um, so that's the pressure of the whole entire system between supply and return side of this furnace. You can see it's pretty high, it's 1.4. Now I'm doing this without a filter. Uh, we have a 4 inch bleed filter casing here. I'm doing it without a filter just to get a baseline. So you can see this is really high, 1.4. Now there's a chart in the book here. See, I'm well over 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the blower speed down. So right now I know it's set to 18. I looked at it real quick. I mean, it's, it's like blowing at top speed here. So let's bring it down to, let's bring it down to 11. So with this, uh, you can see we have menu select and next option. So I'm going to hit menu select and I'm looking for CL. Alright, so CL is uh, speed and cooling. So I'm going to hit next option, 18. And I'm going to bring it to 11. Hit menu select. All right, so we'll go ahead and let it run again, and we'll recheck the static pressures. All right, so our system started back up again. See our static pressure is down at 0.83. All right, so at 0.8, setting 11, we're at about 1,400 CFMs. So it's about 400 CFM per ton. 4, 8, 12, 1600. So that's where we want to be. We're a 4 ton unit, 1400 CFMs at 0.8 static pressure, so we're good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my anemometer and I'm going to measure uh, the flow rate of the air coming out of the vents. So what I'm looking for here is somewhere between 500 feet per minute and 900 feet per minute. So this is actually pretty good, 826, that's good there. So I'm just going to go around all my grills, uh, make sure I'm within that range. And the reason why I'm checking the airflow first is because your airflow is going to change your refrigerant pressures. So if you check your pressures first and dial that in, and then adjust your airflow, your pressures are going to be off again. So that's why I'm doing all this first. So what I'm going to do now, see I have 0.81 total external static pressure. So I'm going to write that right on the ductwork for future text. So I'm going to take my wireless probes, put one right here in the same spot, take the static pressure, and that's the supply temperature, and you can see it just started, you can hear it, and this is my return temperature, pull up the app, alright, so these are my <clears throat> supply and return, dry bulb temperatures, I've got wet bulb temperatures, and that's my delta T there. 
So what I'm looking for is somewhere between 18 and 22. Uh, this is a pretty short line set. I don't expect to add any refrigerant to this. So I'm going to go up on the roof now and we're going to see where we settle in and check our saturated temperatures. And that's the beauty about these probes is I can keep an eye on these temperatures while I'm actually adjusting the refrigerant. So on this unit here, we're looking at subcooling. Uh, it says right on here, subcooling with a TSV, 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright. So what we're looking for here is uh, subcooling at 12 degrees. I'm going to give it a couple minutes just to settle in, and we're going to see where we land. While I'm looking at that, I'm also going to look at my Delta T here. Those are the temperatures inside on the unit. So right now, I'm pretty close to 12. I got my 18 to 22, so I might not have to do anything here. But I'll let it run for a minute. All right, so we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna let this run for another five, 10 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and do the furnace startup.